Hey guys, welcome to Rudra Tech Tutorial and in this chapter 12 of Angular 8 Unit Testing with Jasmine and Kerma, we are going to look at testing dependency injection. Objective of this video is to understand how to use injectors for testing injected dependencies and this can be done using testbed, using inject function or by overriding component providers and using injector of the component under test. In this video, we are not going to deep dive into what dependency injection is, but the simple definition for dependency injection is that it is a design pattern and in this design pattern, a class asks for dependency from external sources rather than creating themselves. And the angular dependency injection framework provides declared dependencies to a class when that class is instantiated. Now, here is a simple example that I have prepared for demonstrating the use of injectors to inject the dependencies in our test specs. Now, here I have created a simple test case and I have put an F disk. So, in order to make sure that this test will be executed, that is, this test will be focused. Here I have created certain variables. So, in this one, I have created a login component. The fixture is created. Along with that, I have also created a auth service. Now, this login component has a simple login form. Once the user clicks on submit after entering the details, it will go and authenticate and then return the information. But in this case, we are not going to test how it is going to send that information and take it back but we are going to test how that service which authenticates the user information is injected into our test specs now in this case the auth service variable is created that this is the variable for auth service and in the test web we have added this auth service in the providers now whenever we want to get the instance of auth service we have usually used testbed dot get this will return us the instance of the given service provided in the get function and here i have stored that instance and here i have created a simple test that will check whether the testbed auth service variable value is the instance of the auth service and to be true and I have already executed this test and here you can see that particular test has been executed successfully. So by using the testbed.get we can get the auth service instance but the testbed gives us the service instance of the service that are declared within the providers. After the test test there is another way to inject service into our test cases that is using the inject function. Now, in order to demonstrate the inject function, I'm going to create another test case here. In this case, we are going to first use the inject function. So, inject. Now, whenever we are using the inject function, we have to import it. So, I'm going to import the inject function here. The first parameter of this inject function is the array of services that you want to import. So here I'm going to add the auth service and the second parameter of the inject function is the function in which we want to execute our expect functions and in this case we also have to add a parameter to the function and that is a variable of the auth service. So, I'm going to create that one here. Now, we are going to write the expect functions. So, here I have checked whether the injected service is having a value or instance of the auth service and now I'm going to check this injected service is instance of the auth service or not. I'm going to save this wait for the results. Now here you can see should inject service using inject function and check if its instance is executed successfully. Now coming back to our example, here the inject function uses the services that are injected here from 
the test bed that we have created here. Now it raises a question why we use the inject function. Now this inject function will definitely help us to inject the services that we want to test within this test case only and it will also help us to mock the services that we want to test. Now there is another way of injecting the dependencies is by overriding the component providers. Now why do we want to override the component providers is because this auth service is actually communicating with the backend server and getting us a response. But when we are actually unit testing our applications component, many times we don't want to communicate with the backend server. Or it might be the case where the backend coding is not completed, but our component coding is completed. So in that case, we cannot get a response from backend servers. Now, in order to resolve that issue, what we can do is to create a mock service and use that mock service in our testing. Now let's go and see how overriding the providers of a component works. Here I am going to create a mock auth service. So here I have created a mock auth service that we are going to use in our testing. Then once this mock auth service is created, I am going to override this test pets provider using the provider of mock auth service. So in order to do that, I am going to add testbed.override components. This testbed.override component is used for overriding the component and its providers. Now it has two parameters. First is the login component and second parameter is overriding the metadata information of the providers. Now it has parameters as set, add or remove and then it will override the components provider. Now here we are going to override the auth service with the mock auth service. Now in this case we have three values set, add and remove. Set will override only the existing parameters and the add will add in the new providers and remove will remove the existing provider. Now once this component is overridden we have to get the instance of this mock auth service. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to create a test spec first. Now, in this case, we are overriding the components providers, not the test bed provider. So, in order to get the instance of the service, we have to get it from the fixture. So, I'm going to create a variable for the service instance. So This is how you can get the instance from the fixture. Now, whatever the instance is provided here is provided from the overridden component and not from the root of the test bed. Fixture dot debug element dot injector dot get and in the parameters we provide the service that we want to inject. Now I'm going to check whether this particular variable is instance of mock or service. So I'm going to write an expect function here and I'm going to save this and let's wait for the results to come out. Now here you can see should test injected service injected using the component overriding is executed successfully. So this is how we can test the dependency injection using the testbed.get or by inject function or by overriding the components providers. Now before we leave, there is a list of future videos that I am going to prepare on Angular unit testing. Uh, attribute directives, pipe testing, input output testing, template driven form, reactive form testing, marble testing, HTTP testing, router testing, code coverage and debugging. So if you want to anything to this list, please let me know. Thank you.